Hi there. My name is Laura Santa Maria, and I am LogDNA's developer advocate. And I'm here today to talk to you about logging is a team sport. How to work within your org to log well. How many times when you've actually started to build out a logging system, someone just says, just write great logs, you're gonna be just fine. Or have you heard this one instead? Instead of just, oh, people will come if you write great logs. Instead, use these shiny new tools. If you use these shiny tools, your logs will be perfect. Everything will be fine. Everyone will get all the information that they need. We've all heard these stories before. But when you think about logging, really what you want to know is, how do your coworkers think of logging? Does everyone get the same thing? Does everyone need the same thing? Well, no. Everybody needs something slightly different. So, as always, it's a people problem. We have a lot of assumptions that people have that say, oh, well, it's going to be this way. Everybody uses this logging level. Everybody uses info. Everybody uses debug. Or we have any assumption around what other people need. We have misconceptions, too. We might think that security only needs audit logs, for example, or the devs only need a debug log. Perhaps that's a little bit of a problem when we have all of these misconceptions. On top of misconceptions, you have complacency. Someone else will deal with it. The devs will, of course, put the logs in that they ex we expect them to have. The security team will get what they need. And ops, of course, will handle all of the logging rotation and all of the structure. What does this lead to? Resentment. Different people resent other people because they are left holding the bag. They have to do everything by themselves. Logging really shouldn't be left to chance because in reality, logging is the language of DevOps. It's how we break down silos and make sure that everyone is on the same page so that we all can move forward together and build something better. It's not just logging. So to do good logging, you have to work with your coworkers. You have to find out what they need. You have to make sure everyone's needs are getting met. Not only do you have to work with your coworkers, but you also have to work with other managers. So you need to talk to your manager and talk about technical debt. You need to talk to other managers and make sure everyone is on the same page so that everybody is thinking the same way. And not only that, you have to work with other teams. You have to talk to your security team if you're an ops team or talk to them if you're a devs team, for example, or anywhere in between. Everyone needs to know what someone else needs so that we can build something better together. So there will always be discussions and debates around logging and how to do it well, but you really need to come to some decisions as an organization to be able to ensure that everyone gets use out of your logging system. So here's a quick little framework to think about when you're trying to figure out how do I make sure that everyone gets what they need out of logging. The first step is send everybody off to identify what kind of logs you actually have. So when you identify everything that you have, you're saying, okay, I know this is here, I know that's there, here's also what's missing. So find those little spots that maybe you're missing debug logs on this little box over here. Maybe you're missing warnings on this box. Once everybody's gotten that information together, sit down and discuss how you can meet everyone's needs with what you have and also with what's missing. Discuss how you're gonna fix it, then come to an agreement. Agreements are hard. You're gonna to have to have some trade-offs, but you need to sit down and do this. Agree on what you need as a group and how you can use that across the company. Set your standards. Once you've done that, then you can go off and update everything. Updating everything is great. You're meeting some technical debt. You're handling a lot of problems. But the one thing you need to also do is monitor it. It's no good if you just update it once. You need to monitor it, see if there's any issues with it. The fact is, is that no matter what, logging is a language we use to communicate. It's a way that we make sure everyone understands how a system is functioning. And that really is how we can start breaking down some barriers when it comes to systems, at least, in the team sport of DevOps. Thank you so much for your time. I'll talk to you later. Bye.